My name is Christine Arbor and I'm going into my fourth year in the Stockdale Lab. And my name is Hasina Saraha and I'm going into my sixth year in the Stockdale Lab. And we are going to be talking about our uh, paper that just got accepted into Chemistry, a European journal. And we specifically are interested in modifications of the C-terminus of peptides. And in our paper, we demonstrated this on both protected and unprotected sequences. Yeah. So typically, like, uh, solid phase peptide synthesis can take place on um, different resins that are uh, different based on one thing is acid sensitivity, but another is um, what C-terminus is given upon cleavage from those uh, resins. And predominantly, it's been, I think, uh, the carboxylic acid um, terminated or carboxamide, so basically an amide instead of a carboxylic acid. You know, over time, there's, you know, pharmaceutical demands and um, things like that and investigations into modifications of the C-terminus that are of interest. And so that kind of fueled our um, research into going towards the um, a method in tr uh, to access these differentially substituted or functionalized C-terminus of peptides. So here we can use a solid support and incorporate a linker, so something that can be um, inserted between the solid support and the peptide. And after the synthesis of the peptide, we can activate this linker and then add a variety of nucleophiles to access these uh, peptide sequences. Using this linker, we can add a variety of nucleophiles, and with that, we can access both acids, esters, carboxamides, and amides just with using one single sequence. We made the native uh, glucagon-like peptide C-terminus, which is just the carboxamide. One challenge I think that we had with this paper is we tried to do in-solution functionalization since it's so much faster than on resin. However, we ran into a problem since we have to do this on unprotected peptides. And if you start to make complex peptides, they have side chains that potentially could be nucleophiles. So we ended up having intramolecular addition to the C-terminus. So that was, I think, one of the um, hardest parts of the paper, but yeah. we were able to overcome that by doing that reaction on resin. Yeah, which it's, you know, that's science, right? So yeah. it was challenging, we found a way around that challenge, but also it's interesting because it could be something that could be utilized. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah.